Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Last time I talked about the three-step process of ECMO algorithm and how it works in math formulas. Today I will demonstrate how it works with a simple example, using these formulas and showing the ECMO works. Let's quickly review three-step process of ECMO algorithm we mentioned in my last video. Here is the scenario. Bob wants to send a message to Alice. Bob is the message resender and Alice is message receiver. They are great to use ECMO for encryption and decryption. Keep in mind the public key algorithm always starts with message receiver, Alice in this example, and she is responsible for the public key generation. The process of ECMO algorithm consists of three major steps. Step 1. Key generation by Alice, the message receiver. Alice will generate a pair of keys a public key and a private key. She sends the public key to Bob. She keeps the private key. Step 2. Bob, the message sender, will use Alice's public key to encrypt his message and send the encrypted message ciphertext to Alice. Step 3. Alice used her private key to decrypt Bob's ciphertext. Now let's use a very simple example to demonstrate how it works in detail. Step 1. Key generation by Alice. First, Alice selects a primary number, P. 17 in this example is a small but in real implementation it should be very very large number then alice will find a primitive root of 17 alice finds a 6 is primitive root of 17 please refer to my previous video how to test if g is a primitive root of a prime number p, if you want to know why 6 is a primitive root of a prime number 17. Then Alice selects her private key a equal 5, and a is valid. 5 is valid because it's between 1 and 16. Next, Alice computes E. So the formula is E equal 6 to the 5th power modulo 17. The result is 7. Any scientific calculator can do all these calculations. Thus, Alice gets the public key, which is 1767. And then she sends the public key to Bob. The public key generation process is done. Now we move to the step two. Encryption by Bob, the message sender. Bob wants to send the plain text message 13. So 13 is less than uh, 17. Bob selects B as his private key, like B is 10, a random integer, not necessarily a prime number, a random integer bigger than 1 and less than 16. Now the Bob plugs numbers, some numbers, in the following two formulas, and he gets C1 equal 15 and C2 equal 9. So thus, 15 and 9, these are two numbers, is the ciphertext 
for his original message thirteen. Thirteen is his message in plain text. Then、um, he sends his cipher text fifteen nine to Alice. The encryption is done. Now we move to step three: decryption by Alice, the message receiver. Once Alice gets the cipher text, fifteen nine, she simply plugs these numbers in the following two formulas. The first, when Alice plugs C one and her private key in the first formula, she gets two. Thus, x equal two. And this x is only useful. In the next formula, the second formula, then Alice plugs C two and X to the second formula. She gets thirteen. Remember, thirteen is Bob's message in plain text. Thus, decryption is done. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much, and see you next time.